All right, welcome back to another uh, walk around test drive video here at Coyote Classics. Uh, today we're not checking out our, our typical uh, 500, 600 horsepower muscle car. But we're checking out a, a pretty badass uh, little Chrysler Cordova. Cream puff. Yeah, maybe change the badass to cream puff. It's sweet though. I mean, the condition of this thing is just outstanding. You do not see too many of these. And quite honestly, I have fallen in love with this car. I've got to admit, there, there's just something about this thing that you just don't see them every day. And this one is in great shape. It came with all the best bells and whistles that the early 80s had to offer. It did. So I was just saying, uh, saying to the boys here just a little bit ago, you can have a 1981 Trans Am, V28 Camaro, 81 Chrysler Cordova. It depends on what did you want, you know, how you wanted something to drive and look and option. Check this out. I mean, the hood release. The hood and brake release is just super cool. This, just the, this, this thing is so damn clean. Oh my God. Sick. Makes me a, makes me a Cordova guy. I mean, it's nice. I mean, I want to tell you guys something. I looked for two weeks to try to find another 1981 LS. And the LS has got the uh, Enduro front bumper. Yeah, that is okay, really cool. So, it's like a Grand National kind right, of Right, I tried to find another one that sold or is for sale. I did not find one. I didn't know what price this thing is. So, it's, it's really nice condition. Original paint and stuff like that under the hood. 318, air conditioning. Yeah, while I was, re while I was uh, writing the description for this car, I did a lot of research into like what the Cordoba was. And this is an 81. Um, in 1980, they downsized the Cordoba, made it a little bit more boxy, made it okay. more like the 80s. I wanted to point out something here. They called this a combustion computer, and they really wanted to highlight the new technology of the 80s at the time. So right in there is an actual solid state computer that controls the combustion of this thing in order to make it idle well. And you can tell, I mean, today you can get something in that that's like the size of a microchip, but here, that thing is a year. brick. So, yeah, it, it's just kind of cool the innovations that were happening at the time. Of the everything technology. was changing, you know? yeah. Everything was definitely changing at that time and yeah. and uh, kind of ahead of its time. And the fact that everything is still in perfect tack under the hood <laughs> oh, and the interior we'll get to in a minute, it's just remarkably clean. It's crazy. I mean, uh, you got a little bit of the silver kind of pe uh, peeling off there, but check out the condition of the chrome around the headlights, uh, the gaps on this car as we go around, you know, the, the hood lines. I mean, you know, back in the old days, you had a cowl hood. Look at this. It's like a, about the same as the cowl. It's just like an inverted cowl hood. You yep. know, the lines on this thing. Gaps are great. Just nice and even from front to back. Back of the hood lines up like it should. Top of the dash pad. You can see just a little bit of fade in the red right here. Other than that, the dash pad looks really great. How about this? It looks like a convertible. Um, but it's absolutely not, you guys. It's a, a convertible canvas top as a vinyl top. Yeah. You call it? yeah, but look how damn clean this thing Glass is. Glass back window. A lot of people mistake these things for convertibles, but the Cordobas didn't have a convertible I option. Somebody that doesn't watch this video, I mean, definitely gonna say, hey, how about that 81 yeah. convertible? You're gonna say that. How about the red, white, and blue? How about the blue? I don't, I'm not gonna say this is stock or not, but it, uh, it's it sort of cool. Looks like it. it. I mean, it's faded. It definitely in a could lot be. Of places, mm -hmm. it definitely could, could be. And uh, this, looks is, good on there. this is an 81, um, like we were looking at the motor earlier, that was a, that's a 318. Um, in 1980, they had a 360, but that was discontinued for 1981, which left the 318 as the largest engine option. Really? So yeah, you've got the largest engine that this thing could be, could come with at the time. Which I wonder I if this thing will rip the tires loose. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna find out in about we're seven gonna, minutes. We're gonna drop yeah, her down in, a, in about <laughs> seven minutes. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's move on. All right, tires look to be in really good shape. We got really good tread there. And how about the, kind of that wide white look? It really cool, goes cool with the uh, white top and everything too, the whole theme of the car. Good trim. Enduro front bumpers in great shape. Unlike the, a lot of the Pontiac counterparts, the GTO, stuff like that, a lot of those had a bunch of cracks and stuff like that in the Enduro bumper. This one is, I'm not seeing anything for cracks in it. This one looks, is in great it's shape. It's almost pristine, isn't it? The wheels are fantastic as well. It's got the uh, Chrysler Corporation wheels on them. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those center caps, the Chrysler Corporation yeah. center caps. Yeah, they're chrome and then around the outside edge is kind of a polished aluminum. Our gaps are great here on the uh, passenger side all the way up to the top of the hood matches up perfectly as well. No bubbles or blisters anywhere down low. That's excellent. Back of the quarter lines up really nice. Door is excellent. Damn. You see why I bought this thing? I do. I mean, where are you going to find another one? That's no, exactly. the thing with this car. Where are you going to find another one in the shape? 
and yeah. in this color combination. I mean, with it's even. not like it's chocolate brown with a tan yeah. top. Yeah. You know, it's, it's red, red and white. white and blue, baby. Yeah. Exactly. This thing really would have st stood out in a parking lot. You know, Hell, we should have this baby out on the 4th of July. Yeah, we should. Just really, really minor stuff, like a little bit of a dip there. Yeah, a couple tiny little mm -hmm. dings, good eye. A couple micro scratches on the top of the trunk lid, but the taillight lenses are near mint. The chrome even. I'm guessing they're yeah. the right Chrysler taillights too. Yeah. yeah. Got the chrome on top yeah. of the... Yes. I'm gonna pop it, get the keys and pop the trunk. We'll take a look in there. So the vinyl, I'm sorry, the, I'm gonna call it a vinyl, even though it's not. The vinyl top, it's not a coral top, is in great shape. Yeah. Our rubber's right here, nice too. We have a couple little, uh, there's three hairline cracks in the top of the plastic and the door panel. Right there. Corner of the door pane is perfect. Door jam pane is beautiful. Rubber gaskets still feel really nice and pliable. Not selling it as original paint. I mean, the paint's, in my opinion, is too nice to be original. I'm sure it's been redone, but oh, it's just beautiful condition still. Same thing here, the carpet's excellent. The sill plate, both corners of the doors are great. Dash pad's excellent. Steering wheel looks yeah. brand new. It still smells new in the yeah, trunk. It does it's it? so nice. Dalton was just saying this might be original paint here. It, it, it yeah. definitely looks like it. sure does, doesn't it? It does look original. Mm -hmm. You can just see just a little bit of age on that. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's originally a red car too. See mm -hmm. it goes, how nice it is under that carpet? And that's all original. Original spare. Wow. Yep. Got a Whoever buys this really is just going to be super yeah. static. Really cool sticker here um, for the jack. Super nice on that one. Really nice, soft. Uh, probably, I'm guessing it's a vinyl. Could be leather. Dash pad's nice. Open up. Oh wow! Here we go. <laughs> Look at Dick, Dick Clark. Clark. Twenty years. Got the key there, Shay. Yeah, oh, we Captain got Captain and Tennell. Who? From the come from the rain. My Captain and Tennell. Captain and Tennell. Heard of them guys. We have. Uh, looks like we have an owner's manual. There. Here we go. Let's see. Come on, Dick. <laughs> Look at that. Here we go. 20 years of rock and roll. And guys, we're not gonna charge any extra for this that comes with it. <laughs> it took me right back to 80, we play that. This reminds me of an old movie. Isn't that cool? And you can see a little bit more technology here. See, that's a brand new for 1980 and 1981 digital clock. They really like to, these, especially these luxury cars in the 80s, they really like to impress people with all the new beep boops computer technology of the yeah, 80s. Exactly, so. it's got cruise control. Yeah. Horn works. It's yep. got the door ajar right there as well. Got that light. Gas gauge works. Mm -hmm. um, the odometer shows 26,265 miles. You know, we have no way of telling how many miles it actually has, but I'll tell you what, the, this car is just in impeccable condition. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a little ashtray. That's uh, super cool. clean too. Back in 1981, man, a lot of people were smoking. You could smoke, you could smoke on planes. You can smoke in your Cordova. Uh, I don't think anyone do. did though. The ashtrays are, are super clean. Yeah, we have a little bit of a, there's a little hairline crack in the chrome here. And just a little peeling on that chrome there. Um, just a very minor wear. The carpet's original. Check this out. You can just see um, it's been vacuumed quite a few times. Back lights both work. Back seat's excellent. I mean, I don't know. I love it. Never thought I'd say the word, I love it, but I do. Both sides are laser straight. I mean, this is a, a true time capsule, show quality car. Trunk gaps are beautiful all the way across. It really is incredible and something we don't see every day. Like I said again, this, that's exactly why I fell in love with this specific car. So far you fell in love with like three, three really, yeah. the 78 Buick, this yeah. and the 57. Yeah, I, however, I would take this over the 78 because yeah. this thing Conditions just said way, yeah, way better. Shay, if you had a lot of money, you'd be an easy sale. Yeah, a probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So bottom of the quarter panel is excellent. Bottom of the door, gaps are good. We've got a couple little paint chips right here that have been touched up. Uh, other than that, there isn't a lot of touch-ups on this car. I mean, just impeccable condition. Bottom of the quarters, all oh, that's in great nice shape. Too. You know what it does? Yeah. Let's take it for a spin. All right. Yeah. 
can't do it all, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Power seat. Power seat works good, too. Power windows both work. Uh, gas gauge works. Temperature gauge works. It's just coming over just a little bit. Look at this door ajar. Yeah, I pointed that out. You oh. always get... Oh. I know. Well, I can't hear you. Well, pay attention. Watch behind the angle. Right mirror. Oh, my gosh. It's got, it's got That's dual pretty mirrors. Unique. Yeah, dual mirrors. That must be new for 81. I've never seen that before. Uh, both remote mirrors work good. Tilt wheel. I can't handle more, Dick Clark. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. A AC kicks right on too, huh? Oh, speak of that, Jeannie drove this home 220 miles. That's awesome. So our driver's wife drove this home 220 miles to our dealership here about yeah. a week ago. So cigarette lighter works. Oh, she's hot. Don't touch that. We're not going to drop that on the floor. Another cool thing about this LS trim, if you got the canvas top like this one has on it, um, you would cover up the uh, opera windows. And you can see that these all usually came with opera windows, but it was covered in by this vinyl um, material right here. Very so neat. you can really kind of see where the opera windows is. Very, Very cool. So we've learned a lot about this uh, Cordova in this video so far. I still have one question uh, that remains unanswered. Will it rip the tires loose? That's exactly right. And we're going <laughs> to find out. on that. I, I, I kind of feel dirty even trying, to be honest. Well, give her hell. Oh, shit. Nope. Not going to no. happen, boys. No. <laughs> now all my questions are answered about the Cordova. Oh, but listen, Still an awesome listen car. Listen how quiet it is. Oh, and the brakes about are the perfect, brakes? too. Oh, it's really, really smooth. This thing is pretty awesome. <laughs> this yeah, we're never going to try to... Don't ever try to smell tires on the car. But even the steering wheel, I'm sure you pointed this out too, because I was I'm always I did, behind you. But it is uh, not as much as you're going to right now, but it's fantastic. I mean, look at the wood grain around there. Just a, I kind of fell in love with it, you know? I really. If we were back in 1981, I think both of us, all three oh. of us, would be on like the freaking little pamphlet video yeah. Yeah. on this thing. We'd, we'd be trying to the, sell this thing brand new. We'd be in the commercial. Honestly, this I thing would... is pretty cool for even for. I love stuff like this where you Sorry. go back to 81. There's no squeals there. Come on, come on. Sure. <laughs> nope. Really smooth shift though. It is. It is <laughs> Can't even hear it. Just hey, we're up to 55. Yeah. This one you could jump in and, and drive yeah. anywhere. Yeah, it's, we, it, like I said, we did. There's 65 mile an hour right there. How many miles show on the odometer? Uh, it shows 26,000, but like I said, we're, you don't know. But air blows cold, ice cold. Yeah, it does. Dick Clark plays loud on the radio. Let's yeah. try to see if the cruise works real quick. I know somebody's going to ask us on that. I can figure out how to run it. Did you... There's the wipers. Oh, wipers. It works. Does it? Wow. Cruise works. That's what I really enjoy about this car specifically, is you step in here and everything, it's, it, it might as well be 1981. It's a great, just time capsule of a car. I'm ready to go to a works. disco. Yeah. Pretty good oh, disco literally. dancing. Yeah. Did they do a lot of discos and stuff back in '81? Was that kind yeah, of yeah? Late thing? '70s, early '80s was kind of the peak of disco. Okay. So yeah, good job, Dalton. Go. You had a little knowledge. I've yeah. seen I've <laughs> seen enough movies of the Narcos movies and stuff. <laughs> I know what, that they drove Cordovas and did disco. <laughs> hey, really cool car. Check this one out on the website CoyoteClassics.com. Like Chad said, you'll look long and hard to find find a car that's as special and uh, original as this one.